equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to share with you painting my barn. So this is my barn, this is where my horses live, and right now it's tan and kind of a light cream color trim. But we're gonna be painting our house gray in a couple of weeks, and I wanted my barn to match or semi-match the house color. So I decided that I was gonna paint my barn using Rust-Oleum paint. So to paint this barn, I got three gallons of Rust-Oleum paint, and I got two gallons of the smoke gray, a gallon of the high gloss white, and then just a couple of things to help me paint. Now, I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out, but I figured, you know what, I did it with my horse trailer. I'm sure it'll be just fine on the barn as well. And because the paneling of my barn is kind of raised, I decided to get a smaller roller to make it a little bit easier for painting. So this is me painting. This is the smoke gray Rust-Oleum paint. It does have a high gloss finish to it and it went on actually really easy. And my barn is 12 by 30 roughly and it did take the full two gallons of the gray paint to give an entire coat and in some areas two coats of paint. But I just painted one side at a time and took my time just to make sure I didn't have any runs when I was doing the painting. And I reached up as high as I could reach so I wouldn't have to do too much on the ladder. I'm not a huge fan of ladders so I figured the more that I could do from the ground the better. And like I said I just did one side at a time. And this paint actually went on really easily and it covered pretty well too. So if you have a metal barn and you were thinking that you'd like to change the color of it, it can be done. And depending on what kind of paint you get, you could have it match your house if you wanted to. That would probably be a custom color paint, but the Rust-Oleum worked really well for me. It was affordable at $28 a gallon. So I was actually able to paint my entire barn with the paint, everything. It was less than $100. So to me, that is a really good deal. And this was a really fun project that I was able to do on my own in just one weekend. So if you're thinking about it and you want to update your barn, go get some Rust-Oleum paint and just do what I did. When I got to the bottom edge, it was a little bit easier if I turned the paint roller on its side and just kind of ran around the bottom of it. And this was the last side that I had to do. This is the front of the barn and it was a little more challenging because of the pens and the horses stalls, but I just took my time and did one section at a time. Initial 
coat 24 hours to dry, it was safe to go out and finish the barn. And this is the trim paint that I use. This is just the Rust-Oleum high gloss white paint. This is the same paint that I use for painting my horse jumps and this is also the same paint that I use to paint my horse trailer. It works really well, it goes on really nice and I think it really looks great with the dark gray paint. And to make it a little bit easier, I did use a four inch roller for most of the work and then I used a really high quality paintbrush for the little tiny trim pieces when I wanted to make sure I could get things kind of neatened up and tied in nice and straight. But the roller did a really good job too. I was really happy with the way the gray and the white kind of complemented each other. I really like the trim. It was really, you know, contrasty and I really like it as an accent to the gray. Not a bad paint job for less than And then I still had some paint that was left in my roller tray, so I figured, you know what, I might as well go ahead and update my hitching post. So I took the leftover paint that I had and gave my hitching post an update too. And we had great weather this weekend, so I figured I'd get a jump start on it and do the barn. And I am so happy with how it turned out. It's really pretty and it's gray. The Rust-Oleum paint is really great. And if you're wondering if you should try it or not, this is the smoke gray in the Rust-Oleum and the high gloss white. I think it turned out really nice and it looks great. And if you're still not sure if you want to use Rust-Oleum paint, check out this video that I did a couple of years ago when I painted my horse trailer with Rust-Oleum paint. And the paint job still looks great today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all my other DIY projects and horse related videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.